this is Andrea here and we are off to a whole new page this is the last page we did we have a belt that holds all of our um, waterfall pages down and I think it turned out really neat very very cool now let's move on to the next page it's going to be on the left and we're going to make this a simple pocket um, I'm going to just go with the angle of what we make it and I, I'll show you what I mean by that so we're going to take a base page paper Put that out the way let's see what we want to be our base we don't want any um, characters on there and you can even go with a slightly solid color if you want but let's go with this one okay let's go with that you're going to need a few pieces i'm not going to use the white doilies this time i'm going to use a tan doily or a heart doily so we'll put these aside to see which one we're going to use then you're going to want to pick a character let's see which character we want she's adorable she's adorable too what do we want I love her I love all of them what is this one here oh I want to go with her yes definitely her and then pick a border these came with the kit if you don't have a kit just pick your own border all right. maybe something with a little green in it yeah, let's do the flowers. Okay, I'm going to do flowers. Make sure we only have one of these. Alright, flower. Okay, then I picked up some borders. I went shopping in my mother's stash <laughs> and I think I want to use one of these borders this one is way too close to the pink look at that it's just too close this one is pretty maybe it's still too close I love this wave put these out of the way and I love this green so I think I'm gonna go with the wave wait a minute maybe I'll go with the green yeah I'm gonna go with the green you can see it all will probably only have to cut right there okay so we're gonna go with the green then we have this then we have our tan. Let's try the tan out. This is a tan doily. I don't remember where they came from. Let's see, go here, here, underneath here. That tan almost looks off. Yeah, let's take that tan out. It looks a little off. Let's look at our heart. I think we can cut this down. Let me see. Almost feels like um, paper towel material. Okay. It has roses on it, which is very beautiful. So I'm going to 
move this green out the way. I'm going to place the heart on here like that. Then come in with our girl. I don't know, I could go like that with our girl. But I'm thinking I want her up a little higher. Like so. Let's pull this over to the page. Then we could come in with our green. You know what? I'm going to try that blue. Yeah, it's a little bit more subtle. I like that much better. Because, you know, when you're messing around with this kind of ensemble, you want it to be more color coordinated. So, and what this is going to be is a pocket. We're just decorating it before. Do I want this on here now? Up here. And then cut it right here. Can't really see it if I do that. <clears throat> what about this? You see that? And then cut it right here. No. Alright, now we get out the die cuts from the paper stack. And let's see what we can do with our die cuts. All right, we have a blue teapot. I think that would be cute. Kinda like that. Or maybe put her on top, like that. We may even pop this up. What about this one that says time for tea over here that's cute and then I want to put in a couple of flowers so we could put one here and we could stick one out of here oh that one's white I don't want to do that get some more colors here yeah poke one out of here like that and then some greenery so come out of here like that oh I love that it's turning out cute guys I think we're doing it a lot. Now I am going to be using some flat back pearls. Um, they all they come in different kinds of colors um, but I'm not going to put them on until we get the um, page cut out and put on. Okay so we've got our idea for this. We will start to go ahead and put them to use. We're not going to use this or the tan doily. Put those out of the way and these out of the way. I do have regular flat pearls. Um, I keep them in this tea can but um, I don't know if white would be better than what we've already got with those other colors. Okay. It's always best to work with a clean surface. Get your glue out. Let's start at the beginning. So the beginning is our doily. So we're just going to slide these down and around. Put those there. Put her up there, there. I'm holding down the doily because we want that to stay, stay in the same spot. Pull that aside. Okay. Now we can take our glue 
and you're going to cut the doiling you're just not going to cut it until you get it down and you're going to go trace around the heart a little in the middle a couple on the roses It sticks fast. There we go. All right, now you can come over here and cut this down. Just do the best that you can. Nothing has to be perfect. that oh look at how perfect that turned out okay I like it all right now you want to go ahead and cut your base paper you're gonna cut it at the shape of the heart like fussy cutting except for it's staying together This is your bottom and your side. Just remember that as you're working with it. Okay, my little girl, I think I wanna go ahead and ink her, ink her edges so she pops a little better. Yeah. And you can also ink up your heart. Now that you've got it cut, you can ink it up. Let's go ahead and give that a, a whirl. Pretty pretty. I love the heart and the little girl. So we have her like this. And do I want to pop her up? You know, I do want to pop her up. So I'm going to get some foam tape, double sided foam tape. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and I believe all of them have it. If not, you could get it at any craft store. All right. Put one on the top. One at the bottom. And then one in the middle. I just find that you should put one in the middle uh, for sturdiness. that tape backing off. Okay. Now let's 
get her on here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now let's go with our teapot. And let's put a little bit of ink around the teapot. You don't need to make this one really inky. But if you want to, go right ahead. Okay. And I'm going to pop the teapot up as well. You only need one for that. flower down here hmm. maybe let's see no I don't know I'm not seeing the flower like I want to let's try something real quick Get your book. Let's test out this pocket that we're creating. All right, that's what I thought. So we're gonna have to cut this pocket down. Should have tested it before. So what I'll do is I'm gonna cut it down here. Okay. It. We're going to cut it down right here. Right there. Now our pocket looks like so. It's still adorable though. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, so it's just like a whole doily pocket. Alright, so we've got that taken care of. Let's get our um, teapot back on here. And maybe not everything that we chose to be on here will be able to stay. up a little bit. Move our cards so we have our book so we have a flatter surface. Okay. Then we have our wave. Our wave is down here. And we want to cut it. right here. Let's see if we did good. Yeah, we did great. Great, great, great. No need to pop this one up. We're going to glue it flat down. So our beautiful blue wave is there. All right. Now we want the time for tea. It says tea makes everything better. And I 
may want to pop that one up. <clears throat> so let's get one of the foam squares or rectangles. Let's pop that one up. Very sticky. Everything's all popped up so we can slide these flowers and vines in here. That one's going to go there. I think I'll just glue it down where it is at. Very pretty. I love the greenery. And I do want to put some greenery on the top. So where, where on the top can we put this? Oh man, it's just going to hide too much. Poo. If I did something like that. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and fold this back so we can get the glue on there. Get it on this big one. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> now we got a little on the top. Clean up your mat. Okay. All right. I love, love greenery. I don't know why, but it's just so pretty. So I have this blue and this blue flower. What if I did like that. Maybe blue is not the way to go. Maybe we should have purple. What about this purple? Oh, I love that one. Okay. So we will skip blue and go with purple. And I think I might have a small leaf from the die cuts. It's not quite small, but let me see. Is this one smaller? Oh no, but it is. Let's try one of these two. All right, so maybe like that. And like that. Can I get one in here? I can. Okay. Oh, don't lose it. one and we're going to slide it under there. Try to get some green on that side. There we go. A little peekaboo green. Okay. Oh yeah. And so I'm going to put this one down first. Okay. Then we'll 
put down our purple flower. I think it's so fun. Look at all that fun stuff there. Okay. Now let's clean up what you can and then we'll get it in our book. Let's see. Hopefully our teapot is not too hung over. Teapot. Okay, so we are good for the teapot, and our pocket is right here. So let's find a base color. What do we want as a base color? We want the same thing because we can't really see the base color that we did have, so we might as well have the same thing. Turn it this way. I like that better. Okay. And we'll cut this down. All right, let's go ahead and ink this up. And we'll use some tape to put it down. You don't have to use a Xyron on this one because you don't want to waste it. You know, it's already expensive enough. I say if you have multiples of tapers to be made into um, stickers, then go for the Xyron. to the side. because I can't find my squishy. Alright. This is why a squishy is so important. <laughs> Squitchies are also known as scrapers. You know that mine. And they are used primarily with um, cricket machines silhouettes, you name it, those type of machines. They just make pulling your tape uh, easier to make it straight.
And our last one. A little bit of tape. I mean glue. <laughs> we have we got a lot of tape. We just need a little glue for the center. Be generous with your glue on this particular pocket because it is the only thing holding it down. So be generous. Not overly generous, but generous enough. And that is our pocket, ladies and gentlemen. I think it turned out so pretty. It's very decorative. It's fun. I think whoever gets this many of them is going to really enjoy this page. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to have a wonderful day. Bye.